Hey guys! So in today's video I thought I would film one of the OG YouTube videos that I remember falling in love with when I first started watching and that is an empties video. If you guys are not familiar with MT's video, it's basically just products that I've completely used up and I give my opinion on them, tell you whether or not I'd repurchase them and that's it. I don't know if you guys still like watching these but I know that I do so let me know if you still like watching them, give it a thumbs up if you do. And let's just dive right into this bag. I'm pretty sure this is like a year's worth of product so let's see what we have. Okay so I'm going to try and go through these products as quickly as I can or just as summarized as I can because I feel like this could be a really long video if I don't. So let's get started with skincare. So I tried three different eye creams. This is the Body Shop Oils of Life eye cream. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair eye cream. And this is the Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus eye cream. So the Clinique eye cream was really nice. It was quite a thick consistency. And this is, it's a wrinkle correcting eye cream. So now that I'm over the threshold of 25, I kind of am using more and more anti-aging kind of products as more of like a preventative measure. So this was one of them. And I really liked the consistency of this. It wasn't too heavy that I couldn't wear it under my makeup in the morning. Didn't notice too much of a difference, but I did feel like it was quite an enriching formula. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream was just really a joy to use because it came with this little gold spatula and I would scoop out the product and place it on my face and you just feel so royal. So I really enjoyed this eye cream. It was a very light formula. It says night repair but I did use this day and night and I really enjoyed this eye cream and just the whole bougie concept of it. Then the Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Eye Cream Gel. I really like this, but I, I kind of like using a thicker eye cream for nighttime or something that feels a little heavier. You know what I mean? Kind of like an eye cream that feels a little bit like a mask. So this one was just really light. So I preferred using this in the daytime and it was quite nice because it had a few like light reflecting particles in it. So it was really good for daytime. Then on to lip balms. This is the Nukes Rev de Miel lip balm. I heard about this quite a lot and if you guys didn't know, this is available at... I got this at... I think it's Fashini. I think it's Fashini, it might be Truers, but Nukes is available at one of those. And this was an amazing, amazing lip balm. It's so thick. It's a very, very thick formula. So what I like to do with this was at night, after I've done my nighttime skincare routine, just slather this on my lips. And when I wake up in the morning, I have really soft supple lips. This was a really really good formula. Then on to a sad product. Not because it was a bad quality but because I was just really bad with it. This is the Ren Flash Rinse One Minute Facial. One Minute Facial. This was an amazing product and I just didn't use it enough and then it expired. So if you guys didn't know this little icon on the back it looks like a tiny pot and it's got a number in it. So basically that means from when you open the product the product expires and I don't really follow that too much with all of my products like with my eyeshadows and that kind of thing most of them say 12 months this one was six months so a skincare I'm a little bit more finicky about that kind of thing Ren is an amazing natural cruelty free product range they're incredible I bought mine from Woolworths their skincare section they have Ren there and this was amazing. I love the smell of it. It had this like slightly citrusy but not overpowering scent. And you basically just apply this to your face, your dry cleansed face. You wet your fingertips and then you go over it again. And then that kind of activates the face mask. And then you leave it on your face for one minute and rinse it off. One minute. And my skin felt incredible after using this. Then this is the Simple Kind Skin Hydrating Cleansing Oil. So this says it dissolves makeup no greasy with no gre greasy residue. So Simple Skincare is not available here. I got this in the UK. And if you guys didn't know, I love, love taking my makeup out. <laughs> taking my makeup off with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm just because I feel like the oils really break down most of the makeup and then after that I don't really have to do much because I don't like using too many cotton rounds and face face wipes and that kind of thing so this does a really good job of taking off like 80% of my makeup. An affordable option that I really really like here is the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Oil and then they have the balm version. Amazing, absolutely amazing product. If you guys are thinking of getting into cleansing oils 
then those are two that I would try. Then this is the Rhodiol Snake Serum. Now I did a blog post on this, I'll link that down below if you guys wanna see that. But this is the Oxygen Serum to boost complexion, glow, and smooth skin with an O2 carrier. It sounds really intimidating because it's called a snake serum, so you're like, okay, am I putting snake venom all over my face? And it's not, it's just a product that's spelled SYN, like S-Y-N, dash A-K-E. So it's just cool to say snake. But this was such a nice serum. This felt so enriching for my skin. It had a very light formula and the smell was incredible. Loved the serum. Then onto micellar waters. These were two that I finished up. This is the Nivea Hydro Boost Micellar Water. This was the Sorbet 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water. These are both kind of on par with each other. The Sorbet one, I loved the packaging. So you basically, it's got that little pump at the top, so you put your cotton rounder on and then you pump it and the product comes out. I really like that. And then the Neutrogena one just smelt and felt very refreshing. These are both, they're good, but I think they are better ones. I would I would recommend going for the Garnier ones. Then these are the Alme Eye Makeup Remover Pads. So this says it removes long wear and waterproof makeup and this has 80 pads in it so there are actually a few in here but again these kind of expired and I kind of stopped when I first got these I really enjoyed using them so it's a really light little pad and it's kind of soaked with some kind of an oil but I really didn't find that they did a really great job of taking because this one they, they have two versions of this and this is the long wear and waterproof version and I didn't really find it did a great job of taking my mascara off I do really struggle to take my mascara off but I didn't I wouldn't recommend these I I personally just prefer using a cotton round with micellar water and that does a better job than these. Then onto hair care, I have one product here. This is the Pantene Instant Split End Mender Serum. So this is a leave-in serum and after you've dried your hair, apply a small amount to towel dried hair after shampooing and conditioning. And I don't know if it was just my mind playing tricks on me, but I really felt like this worked. I don't know if, like, just when I applied it, it really looked like it minimized the appearance of split ends. So I don't know if it actually got rid of them, but they defi this definitely minimized the appearance of them. And the formula of it is super light, and the scent of it is amazing. I really, really enjoyed this product, and I would definitely repurchase this. Then for deodorant, I have three of these deodorants. And... I would love a good recommendation for a natural deodorant because I would love to try them, but this is just my favorite scent. I've been using this for years. My mom actually used this, so that's what got me into the scent. If you guys like using this scent, this is the Revlon Fire and Ice Cool Deodorant, and I just love the fragrance of this. It smells so good. And this is the this is actually the man one. These bigger bottles are the man version of the deodorant. They smell exactly the same. There's more product in the man one, and these are cheaper. I don't get it. But yeah, when I figured that out, I was like, well, of course I'm going to buy this one. It's cheaper. I get so much more product. It'll last longer and it smells exactly the same. So yeah, if you get these, there's a little tip for you. If you want to try them, go ahead. Then for body, this is the Body Shop Glazed Apple Body Butter. This is a limited edition Christmas scent of their body butter. So it only comes around around the festive season. But whoo, is it a good one? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love the Body Shop Body Butters so much. And this one's more, I personally don't like fragrances that are too sweet. And this one is just a beautiful, like fresh and fruity scent. Love this one. Then on to face wipes. I have quite a few. So this is the simple eye makeup remover pads. Oh, these were like mini, like round discs. I really like these, but I don't think I'll buy eye makeup remover things again, just because I find them kind of pointless. Like if you have a face wipe, it takes everything else off and they're bigger. So this is the pack of Nivea 3-in-1 Refreshing Cleansing Wipes. I'm not really a fan of these. These weren't really very moist. Yeah, these kind of felt a little bit abrasive on my skin. And then these are the Garnier ones. This is the Cleansing Wipe Start Afresh Simple ones. I don't know. And then these are the Micellar Extra Gentle Cleansing Wipes. I personally prefer the micellar one just because I love micellar water for taking makeup off. It does a really good job. This one was my, I think, second favorite out of the Garnier range. My first favorite is the, it's the oil one. So this is actually the micellar water version of it. And this is the micellar oil infused cleansing water. And I like the wipes of this water. It's really, really good. Then on to makeup. This is the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. This is actually a really really good spray. It did a really good job of setting my makeup. The spray of it was 
gentle it didn't like you know squirt out at your face and yeah this is just a really good affordable option it's not much product in here this is a 50 ml bottle but essence is super affordable so definitely worth trying out then for eyebrow pencils, I went through two of the Palladio the Brow Definer. So this is an affordable brand that's available at Dischem. And I only went for this because the LA Girl one, they ran out of stock. And now Palladio have run out of stock of these ones. They are really, really bad at restocking the LA Girl and Palladio, Palladio, whatever. They're really bad at restocking those counters, which is very frustrating. So yeah, I went through two of the Palladio ones and this one is in the shade Black Brown. And then I went through two of the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencils. I've spoken about these so many times. I absolutely love this, but again, they never have stock. And this is in the shade Blackest Brown. Absolutely love these. The, all of the brow pencils that I use all have the same spoolie on the one end, so like the brush, and then the product on the other, and the product is a super fine tip. That's just my personal favorite format. And then this is the Rodial Glamour Brow Precision Eyebrow Pencil. Exactly the same format. This is an amazing brow pencil, did the same thing, and highly recommend. Then onto mascaras. I've actually had this one, I, I believe this was in a haul that I did. This is the NYX Le Mascara Extra, okay, I'm reading the French, ugh, oh, idiot, okay. This is the NYX The Skinny Mascara. So I was really excited to try this because I've got really small lashes, so I need something that's gonna get into the bottom lashes. I bought this brand new, and the first time I used it, the product was dry, it was just, it was really disappointing. As you can see, the brush on this thing is tiny, like it, it barely looks like it exists. And then when I went to put it on my lashes, it just, it didn't do anything. The, uh, uh, the product was so dry on this from first application, and it just didn't do anything for my lower lashes. I was really disappointed by that, because I thought I'd found like an affordable gem, because I know Clinique does a bottom lash mascara, and MAC does a really good, I think it's called Extended Play, and that's also a really good like mini brush mascara. So I thought I'd find like a hidden gem, but no, alas, I did not. Then two other mascaras that I have are, is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and the Catrice Better Than False Lashes Volume Mascara. These are both really amazing products. Tarte, if you can get a hold of Tarte products, definitely do it. They are cruelty free. I don't know if they're vegan, but I know they're cruelty free and they use amazing ingredients in their products. They're available in America and they're incredible quality. This mascara was really, really good. I really enjoyed using this. And then the Catrice one was also really good. Only thing about this is that, like I said, I have really small lashes, so I don't really get along with big brushes. But it was a good mascara. I just, I basically go in with a small, smaller head of a mascara first to get into the base of my lashes, and then I go in with the bigger brush mascaras just so I can feel like I use them. Um, and this had a really good effect on my lashes. It, ma it lengthened them and made them look slightly spidery but not clumpy. I really enjoyed this and Catrice is another one of those really affordable and cruelty free brands. And then, okay, this I accidentally forgot. This is another brow pencil. This is the e.l.f. brow pencil and I was obsessed with the color of this. This was the closest to the color of my brows that I've ever found. Same kind of concept, like it had the brush on the one end and the product on the other. Only thing with this is that the product itself was just thicker. So I couldn't get as precise of an application with this as I wanted, but e.l.f. is just insanely affordable. Their stuff is so, so, so cheap. It's like $5 or $3 or something like that for all of their products. All of their products are so affordable. I love the color, wasn't the biggest fan of the applicator, but it did a good job. Then this is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I don't know why you'd use a clear brow gel on your lashes. But, you know, to each his own. The only problem I have with these see-through bottles is that they look really manky towards the end. But it was an okay brow gel. It, it did set them in place, but it didn't keep them set in place throughout the day. So that was that. Then this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I bought this when I was in London last year. And this was a really good mascara, but the Maybelline Fit Me Mascara is better than this one. Which is really good because in South Africa we can't get this. So definitely try the Maybelline Fit Me. It was a better formula than this one, in my opinion. Then this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. That is quite a title. So this also gets really, really gross towards the end because it's like a sponge applicator and you twist up the product. 
This is just one of those OG products that almost every single YouTuber loves. This is a really, really good concealer. It's super high coverage, but it's a very light formula and it's a really, really good concealer. We can't get this here, but if you can get your hands on it, then definitely do, because it's worth checking out. And I love products like this that you can use all of the product up. I wish all products came like that, because the amount of times I've thrown away concealer just because I can't flip and scrape, the rest of it is very frustrating. So I love the packaging of this. And that is it for the empties. We made it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you got a good kind of summary and opinion on all the products that I've used up. I hope you guys are having a really good day so far. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.